Reading a burette. In this video, you will learn how to properly read a burette. The specific objectives of this video are to understand and avoid parallax error, learn how to properly use a reading card, and learn how to read a burette to the second decimal place. To achieve accurate and consistent burette readings, it is important to read the apparent position of the meniscus in a consistent manner. Accurate and consistent readings can be achieved by reading the bottom of the meniscus and avoiding some common problems. The first common problem is parallax error. Parallax error occurs when a reading is taken with meniscus above or below eye level. Here are three examples of the same burette volume. In the first example, the meniscus is below eye level and the apparent volume is 9.85. Notice how you can see the entire encircling ring from the 10.00 milliliter mark. The same problem occurs when the meniscus is above eye level, such as in this example. The apparent reading in this example is 10.08. Notice again how the encircling ring of the 10.00 milliliter mark can be seen around the burette. In the last example, the meniscus is at eye level, and in this case, the encircling ring from the 10.00 milliliter mark appears as a single line. In this case, the proper reading of 10.00 can be achieved. Lining up the encircling line closest to the meniscus so that it appears as a solid line ensures that the reading is taken from eye level and avoids parallax error. Using a reading card. A reading card is used to sharpen the bottom of the meniscus to achieve more consistent readings. Notice how the bottom of the meniscus becomes darker and moves as the black line of the card is brought close. You should aim to hold the card approximately one marking below the meniscus. The darkened and sharp curve of the meniscus with the reading card is much easier to take consistent readings from compared to not using the reading card. Reading a burette to the second decimal place. To accurately read a burette to two decimal places, it is important to be able to estimate the meniscus position between two burette markings. Here are five examples that we will go through to demonstrate how accurate readings are taken. To take accurate readings, it is important to know that the thickness of each marking is approximately 0.02 milliliters. You should always use the top of the markings as the stated value. For instance, in this example, the line that circles the burette is the 10.00 marking, which means that the top of the line is 10.00 and the bottom of the line is 10.02. Knowing this, we would read this burette at 10.02 because the meniscus is well below the top of the line, but still not visible below the line. In the next example, the meniscus sits at the top of the 10.00 marking, therefore the reading is 10.00. In the third example, the meniscus sits approximately half a line width below the 9.90 marking, therefore the reading is 9.93. In the fourth example, the meniscus is just below the top of the 10.00 line, so the reading is 10.01. In the last example, the meniscus sits halfway between the top of each line, which gives a reading of 9.95. Note that it is not halfway between the two lines. Halfway between the two lines would be halfway between 9.92 and 10.00, which would give a reading of 9.96. You now know how to make accurate and consistent burette readings.